Alright, so previously we ended up helping out Edna prepare for her date with the chemistry teacher, and when she finally had her date, we also had to fend off any students that were attempting to intervene. We were successful in that, and then later on, we ended up racing against a few other people, including Johnny Vincent, all in an attempt to win the heart of Lola, who is a manipulative you know what. Aside from doing some of those main missions, we ended up partaking in some side activities, whether it was attending classes or that? whether it was doing the nerd challenge to earn a hideout. We ended up doing just that. Real learning is unstructured. That's what I've always said. English 3. All right, let's get this started. That's right! Keep it up! Well done! Good show! Good one! Alright, we got the big one. Well done! That's right! Keep it up! Good one! Good shot! Alright, we got the next big one, so now we don't have to worry about that. Good one! Well done! Good show. Ooh, okay, we passed at least. Well done, James. Well done indeed. Yes, sir. You've earned the ability to apologize to prefects for small crimes. Just Hold so you want L1 me to and press circle ass, yeah? to shove taunt. Back the hell up. <laughs> Are you looking to get punished? Come on, give me a break. I love hot dogs. Apologize to I prefects rock. for small crimes and they will leave you alone. That was easy. Okay. I honestly thought I was going to fail English 3, but surprisingly I was able to put together another word at the last couple seconds, I would say, and I was able to pass that. But now that we got English out of the way, we can now move on to one of the main missions. The tenements. Hey, good looking. What's up? Oh, you're so angry, but I think you've got a softer side. Haven't you caused enough trouble? That's not fair. I'm a nice girl. I'm nice to everyone. Now everyone hates me. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. Well, okay. But now Johnny and his boys won't even speak to me. Boys can get really jealous when they find out you've been kissing another boy. It wasn't like that. I'm not like that. Okay. But I left all my things in the abandoned tenements where they hang out. My address book, my keys, my perfume, my lipstick, even my laundry. Everything. Now I've got nothing. I don't have much money. That's too bad. Maybe you could get them back for me? You want me to steal your stuff back from a bloodthirsty mob of angry greaseballs? I'd be very grateful, Jimmy. <laughs> very grateful. Yeah. I can't believe he's like falling for the charade. Jesus Christ, man. Not too bad. Alright, got another transistor. You bought a ticket for the pain train. Shut up. Choo -choo! Oh my god, he really had that. It just stunk that smoke is bad for you. I found that combing my hair smoothed my mind out. Sit down. Sweet. I right, got the address book. You better get out of here before you get hurt. I got a better slingshot than you guys do. 
I'll take that. Boys, it's Jimmy! Back me up! I'm gonna smoke your butt on my... You're gonna smoke my ass on? Nice. Show me your stuff, man! That's gonna bruise. Alright, well, since these punches aren't doing much... There we go. Looks like you failed in smoking my ass. No ditty. That's not trash. Alright, we got the lipstick. Um, hello? Okay, I was gonna say, I can't move. Time to go upward. Hey, there's tracks nearby. You're on the wrong side of me. I got a better slingshot than y'all, so sit down. There we go. Got a bag of laundry. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing here? Um, uh, taking out the trash. Looks like that's what I have to do. I just love wrecking things with my hammer. Okay. Jesus, dude, you sure as hell are doing a good job of whacking me with that. Wow, look at you. Big old tough guy wielding a sledgehammer of some sort. Not so tough now, huh? Okay, now we're talking. There we go. I can use that. We got her keys. Now we just gotta get whatever the last thing is. Got it. The bottle of perfume. Nice. Now we can get the hell out of here. I wish we were able to take the sledgehammer with us, but we gotta leave it behind. Better collect that. All right, here I am. Thanks, honey. You're great. Come on, then. I don't know why you're going mouth to mouth wow, with that Jimmy, woman. You're why? So manly. Come on, All dude. Sorted. The rumble. Huh, there he is, my hero. What's your problem now? If you really cared about me, you'd fight for me. First of all, I'm not sure I really care about you. Oh. And second, what do you think I've been doing? Tad fights for me, Gord fights for me, Johnny, well, he certainly fights for me. In fact, they're all about to fight for me, right now, everyone apart from you. Who's fighting? Tad and all the rich kids are coming here to fight Johnny and his boys, all because of me. I'm like Helen of Troy. So there's gonna be a big fight? A winner-take-all sort of thing? Yes, everyone's involved apart from you. I'm Helen of Troy, and you're more interested in boys called Troy. <laughs> Whatever. See you later. <laughs> uh. Oh, boy. They're doing all of this for one girl? Like, are you serious right now? Is that really what's happening? I'm done with you chumps. Now tell me where Johnny is so I can finish him off. I know where he is, but I ain't telling I know you where he nothing. is. And you haven't been used as a punching bag. Not so big now, are you? Oh, sure. Okay. Pull the leg All right. Off. Okay, hey, relax. Go. Oh, 
sit down, just simmer down. Who won? Me, Jimmy Hopkins, that's who. Who won? You. Who? Jimmy Hopkins. Correct. That's right, ladies. Me. I'm the daddy now. You treacherous little snake. You think you're tough, huh? You don't need any more of this, Johnny. You laugh at me, you turn on me, you get it on with that harlot who I, I love. Bro, I'm gonna wake destroy up. You. All right, calm down, man. It's cool. You lost. No big deal. We can all be friends. You're done, kid. Finished. Oh, my God. You'll learn to keep your hands off my girl. She's not even your girl, Get dude. Get out of here! The cop! You're lucky, Jimmy. I'll kick your ass later. Stop! I'm an officer of the law! Get back here! <laughs> oh boy, we gotta outrun the popo! This music, though. Oh, lord. Running and I'm riding on the bike, and yet the cops still won't stop chasing after me. Me. Get out of here, the cops. Oh boy. I don't know why the camera was acting weird right there. Shout out to Petey for at least helping me out with this. Shout out to Petey, man. The dude's a real one. Better start running. I'm still gonna. Let's see how you do in an even fight. You think you can challenge me? Hey, yo, look. Dude's getting this fed up over me interacting with some girl that's been cheating on him, who doesn't even love him at all. Like, what a waste. You do what I say. All right. I give up. You can have her. Who? What are you talking about, Johnny? Lola. You win. She's yours. This has nothing to do with her, man. I don't care. You can keep that slut for yourself. Oh! What? You don't want her? Then why did you do this? Why'd you fight? Just to prove you're tougher than me? That's right. And don't you or your boys forget it. I'm tougher than you. So maybe now you'll stop bullying everyone. You work for me now. Oh, man. I'm starting to feel pretty good about myself. I've just taken control of two of the school's worst cliques, but I know there are bigger problems just around the corner. Problems with overdeveloped pituitary glands and brains the size of peas.
The thing is, Pete, now that I'm cool, I'm not sure we can be friends anymore. What? <laughs> I'm messing with you. <sighs> Real funny, Jimmy. Well, when you're done with this place, a career on the stage awaits. Maybe, maybe like a male stripper or something, huh? What? <clears throat> so, um, what about Gary? I haven't seen him. But whenever I hear somebody say I used to be a girl and had a sex change, or that my mother slept with Crabble Snitch to get me in here, I think to myself, Gary. Gary! What a jerk! You don't even call me a dork. Well, I guess he's not always wrong. Is that what you really think? Oh, whatever, Jimmy. You know, I stand up for you, and you still think I'm a dork. You're a jerk. And you're a dork, so we're equal. Whatever. I'm leaving. Ow! Oh. <laughs> now maybe next time you'll watch where you're going. What'd you do that for? Oh, I'm sorry, Psycho. Did oh. I hit your boyfriend? Yes, yeah, Psycho. You gonna try to kick our asses now? No, I think I'll do that more publicly. Ooh, I'm really scared right now. Really scared. I take down linebackers every day, pal. Whatever, pretty boy. You'll get yours. Yeah, we'll see about that. Go have some fun in the communal showers. Oh, I just dropped my soap. Please pick it up for me. <laughs> Losers. <laughs> Petey, get up. Jimmy, Jimmy, I think we found some new people to have some fun with. Oh, no, man. Hey, Jim, I got some homework to do. Bro, he really just said that. <laughs> All right, well, the snowy weather is behind <laughs> us, which means we're now in spring. Sadly, we can't wear this holiday sweater. We do gotta change it up, though. But before I do so... Art 4. You know what? We'll do it. Art 4. Shall we get started, then? And please, no talking. Yes, Miss Phillips. Whatever you say. Alright. It's gonna get tougher. Oh man. Oh well. No. Almost there. There we go. Whew, that was close. Why do we have to make paintings Very like that? Pleasing work. Why? I'm the best. Kiss a girl and you'll get a 100% health bonus. And you done. mean anal? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I I'm just messing around. Or am I? <laughs> oh my lord. Dr. Crabblesnitch is busy. Where's See you later, buddy. Uniform, young uh, Every time. You Every time. We got a reminder of who she's dealing with. All right, well, since Christmas is behind us, looks like we can't wear this holiday sweater, which means we got to change it up a bit. Give me a moment. And this was my outfit. All black, dark as Jimmy's it. heart. We've now advanced into chapter four. So far, we have dealt with the preps, we've dealt with the greasers, so now we're gonna be dealing with the jocks. Yo, why are you not? Dude, I'm on my way to class. Like, get away from me. I get it, I'm late, but I'm on my way to class. All right, Wimps, it's time for some wrestling instruction. Oh. I've been looking forward to this all week. Follow the instructions to learn new moves. You've unleashed my barbarian rage! I have so many years ahead of me! Don't my tender soul! Crushed! Hey! Fight fair! Please! I have nervous I'm gonna die of embarrassment! That's right! Hurt him! Can my esteem fall any lower? Yeah! You don't want to touch me. My smell is contagious. Ooh, right in the Please balls. Stop. My legacy. The strongest boys in all the land. Full on band. Clap your hands. Yeah. Another crushing blow for the fatty. <laughs> I can't do anything right. 
Okay. Stop moving around! Hey, y'all, you fool her man. Stand up and clap All right, hands. boys! Forward, I want you to concentrate! Jesus. Don't be so damn smug, Hopkins. I'll get you down yet. No diddy. And that's that. All right. We got that done. Now we can move on over to the main missions once again. You know what? Before I do that, I hate you. <laughs> let's revisit penalty shots. Genuinely awful. Increase the bet to the maximum amount. There we go. No, 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 no. You're really mean. <laughs> You'll never hit me. I don't think I like you anymore. Nina, Nina. Why do you have to shoot so hard? Hit me with your best shot. Oh, that really hurt. Hit me with your best shot. I said I'd do it. We'll do it once more. You look stupid. <laughs> I look stupid. Genuinely awful. Bringing it all the way to the max amount. There we go. Nina, Nina. Oh, oh. No, no, no. I don't think I like you anymore. Nina, Nina. Oh, oh, that hurts so much. There we go. Another good deed done. You know what? Since we're near it, might as well bring back those transistors that we've collected. Good to see you haven't forgotten me. Why would I? Just what I wanted. All right. All right, this time it's all about the punch. You know, you're all right, kid. Don't forget to bring me a transistor when you come back. I think I ended up getting one more transistor that I do got to give back to him. Jimmy right? Hopkins delivers. Yep. And I believe this is the last one before something happens. I suppose you want to train again. Once more, man. Once more. That'll do. You ready to train? It's all about really hurting you. Whoops. Roundhouse kick. Come on in, come on! Don't forget to bring me a transistor when you come back. Honestly, I don't think there's any more that I have to collect. Ain't no stopping Jimmy Hopkins. Oh wait. I, I guess there is one more that I have to collect, wherever that is. Alright. Well, I hope I get it at some point in this playthrough. Alright, so. We had to make our way over to the tenements because we had to get a hold of some stuff that Lola left over there. And along the way, we ended up running into a gang of greasers that were guarding the place. But we ended up overcoming those and then we were able to get all of Lola's stuff and bring it back over to her while we still could. We then ended up finding out soon after that the entirety of the greasers over in New Coventry, they were coming to blows. Apparently all because of one specific woman and their desire to win her heart even though she's a surefire manipulator and along the way we ended up running into Johnny Vincent and we ended up coming to blows and went one on one. Thankfully Petey ended up coming through to help Jimmy out in taking down Johnny Vincent and we were successful in doing so, therefore we were able to get the entire Greaser Click under control. Now that Johnny Vincent and the Greaser Click are behind us, we ended up progressing on into Chapter 4, where the next click that we will be dealing with in the story are the Jocks.
Outside of the main missions, we ended up indulging in some side activities. We ended up attending English 3. We also attended Gym 3. We also brought back some transistors over to that homeless person behind the school bus and so forth. And if you were able to tell, now that we're in Chapter 4, Christmas season is behind us. We're now in the spring, which means I could no longer wear that holiday sweater. But hey, man. It is what it is. But now that we're in chapter 4, I'm looking forward to seeing how Jimmy Hopkins is going to manage the jocks over at Bullworth, but also how Gary might play a role in trying to manipulate Jimmy into thinking he's the boss. Because keep in mind, while all of this is happening, Gary is still plotting his way to take over the school, and as much as I don't want to say it, his plan seems to be working to some extent. But... Only time will tell. If you guys are looking forward to more videos in our series on Bully, please be sure to drop a like on the vid, but also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. And you're more than welcome to do the same if you happen to be watching this on my Rumble channel. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy Discreet, and I'll catch you in the next video.